For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem where you have the distributed load and they want you to find an equivalent resultant force and find its location measured from pin A. So you got two areas, two very common areas. You got a rectangle and a triangle. Just gotta divide them up. As you can see, we got this rectangle has a height of two kilonewtons and this triangle has a height of two kilonewtons. Y2, four minus two is two. And this is the height of this triangle. Now the equivalent force of the rectangle at right in the middle, let's call it F1. And the equivalent force of this triangle distributed load acts at one third of the tall edge of the triangle. This is one third of whatever length this triangle is. So now all you need to do is find areas in order to find the forces. F1 is given by the area of the rectangle, which is two kilonewtons per meter, times the length of the rectangle, which has a length of six. And it comes out to be 12 kilonewtons. F2 has an area of two times the length of the triangle, which is three divided by two, because the area of a triangle, you gotta divide it by two. Uh, that comes out to be 3 kilonewtons. The resultant force, assuming aiming down is positive because they're both aiming down, is equal to 15 kilonewton meters. Actually, kilonewtons, I'm sorry. Now, the moment you gotta find where the force is at with respect to A. So, this is x right in the middle, which will be 3. And the second one acts one third from this trailing edge of the triangle, which means that this will be three divided by three is one. So this is from here to here is one meter, one meter. So this long, um, this long uh, lever arm is equal to six meters minus one meter, which would be five meters. Now F1 turns this short arm clockwise, the short arm of three meters, which is F1 times three meters clockwise. Let's assume clockwise is positive. And F2 also turns the lever arm clockwise is longer lever arm with a length of five times five. So when you plug the numbers in, you get that this is equal to 51 kilonewton meters for the moment. Another one should find the distance uh, measured from A. So the moment of A is equal to the resultant force times the distance. The moment at A is equal to 51. The resultant force is 15. D is what we're trying to find. You solve for the D and you get that D is equal to 3.4 meters. 3.4 meters to the right of A. Somewhere around here is D that distance will be where the resultant force would act. Final answer for D, final answer for the moment, final answer for the resultant force F1 and F2. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.